Hi everybody. Today we're going to take a couple of minutes and talk about wearing masks. Now I know masks are a new thing and they can be a little bit uncomfortable, but they are the best way to help keep all of our neighbors safe. So we definitely want to make sure we wear them. And sometimes this means that we have to wear them even when we're playing violin or viola, but it is possible to do so and do so comfortably and securely without the instrument feeling like it's about to run away from us. So let's talk about how we can find a way to wear a mask and play our violin or our viola. And the first thing to do is to find your favorite well-fitting mask. I have a bunch. Now, masks can come in several different styles, but everything that I'm going to say applies to all of the different styles. My favorite are the rectangular ones with pleats that have elastic that goes all the way around so I can wear it like a necklace or a scarf when I don't need it. But your mask may look different. It may have ties like this one that looks like an aquarium. Or it might have elastic that goes around the ears or might even be shaped completely differently. But everything that we're going to talk about is the same regardless of the shape and style of your mask. The first thing to do is make sure we get one that fits really well. If it's too big and it gapes and flaps about, not only is that not as effective at keeping our neighbors safe, it also gets in the way when we try and play violin or viola. So we want one that's not too big and we want one that fits securely over our nose and goes down below our chin. But because we use the, our jawline here to sit in the chin rest of our instrument, we want to make sure that our mask doesn't fall below our jawline all the way up the side of our neck. So we need to find a mask that keeps this part of it clear. So the first thing to do when putting on a mask is to make sure your hands are clean. And as much as we can, we only want to touch the elastic. We don't want to touch the front face of our mask. Now we're going to put it up on our face and we're going to put it right up over our nose so that we get a good seal all the way across. This may mean if you're a glasses wearer, your mask is going to have to go under your glasses. Okay. And then we want to make sure that we pull our mask down so that it goes below our chin. So we get a full coverage over our nose and our mouth. But then we want to make sure that our mask hasn't fallen down below our jawline so that we have a nice clear area to play some violin. Let's see how that works.